Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to encrypt and decrypt uh, data using your C Sharp Windows Form application. So let's first quickly see uh, what encryption means according to Wikipedia. So in uh, Wikipedia, if you search for encryption, then this line according to this line in cryptography in encryption is a process of encoding messages in such a way uh, that hackers cannot read it but the authorized party can so encryption is converting your simple string into non readable form and so that some other party cannot read it which is unauthorized to read it but if the authorized person which has some secret decryption key he would be able to uh, decrypt your encrypted data so this can be very useful when you want to hide your data or when you uh, want secrecy with your data so that's uh, why we use encryption and uh, I will also want to show you the what type of decryption or encryption we are going to use so in this uh, particular video I'm going to show you advanced encryption standard also called AES encryption which is widely used and it converts your simple string into this Randil Schiffer which is a type of encrypted uh, string okay and if you want to know about AES and encryption then you can also google it and see on the wikipedia page for more uh, explanation so let's see the code so what I have done is I have taken three labels one I named it as simple text second as encrypted text and third as decrypted text and I also have taken three text boxes one in this text box I will enter simple string and when I press this encryption button it will convert it into encrypted string and when I want to decrypt and that then I press this button and then it will decrypt the encrypted string and once again in it will show you in the original form in this text box so these two buttons I have taken these three text boxes I have taken and these three labels I have taken so take these all tools and I have also changed the name of these uh, text boxes according to their use so first text box I have named as text box plain text because it was used or, or it is used to uh, contain plain text and second text box is for encrypted text that's why I have named it as text box encrypted text okay and in the same way third text box is for decryption of data so I have named it as text box underscore decrypted dot uh, underscore text okay so just change the name so you will not be confused now the coding in this video I will show you how to encrypt your data and in the next video I will show you how to decrypt that data so let's just double click this encryption button and you come to the encryption button click event here we are going to write our encryption code but first of all we need to include some namespaces so write using go at the top and here you write using system dot security dot cryptography so this is the cryptographic library we are going to use in this code so just import this library and 
just write this code at the top of your code once again to the form and then double click this and in here we will write our code but before that uh, I'm going to declare some global variables so I will go at the top after this form declaration where my initialize component is there and there is a declaration of my form function below that I will just declare these variables so declare these all variables first is string which is and I have given the name Schiffer data so it will contain our encrypted string data into this string variable then declare byte array and I named it as Schiffer bytes then once again bytes plain bytes third byte array is plain bytes 2 and fourth byte array is plain key okay so declare these variables and I have uh, declared our object also symmetric algorithm o des obj so declare this also okay so just declare these things and now just copy this des object and go to here where your initialize component function is there just paste it there this variable and write is equal to reindeer dot dot create of dot create bracket and bracket closed so just declare this object here so when your program will be uh, run or when you run your program this uh, object will be called when you first run your program and this will run throughout your program so just write this and this and now we will write the code for encryption so double click this button once again and in here write this code so this is the Schiffer data which is a string uh, variable which we have declared above so I will show you this variable we have just declared Schiffer data and in this Schiffer data string variable we will transfer the plain text so this is the name of your text box this one and dot text so whatever we enter in the text box as a simple string it will transfer that string into this variable and then write plain bytes is equal to plain bytes is also we have declared above is equal to encoding dot ascii dot get bytes and just copy this variable and paste it here and in the third line write plain key which also we have declared above is equal to encoding dot ascii dot get bytes and in the bracket we will pa pass the custom key for our encryption so this will this key will be contained only by the authorized person and this key has some size fixed size I have given it the size of 16 bit so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so 0 to 15 so total 16 characters are there okay so just provide your key here which should be the multiple of 8 okay and then write des object which we have declared above 
the object for rain bill dot key is equal to plain key which is this variable so we are passing in the rain deal object key from here okay so this object dot key is equal to plain key and in next line write obj dot mode so this is the mode for encryption is equal to shiffer mode dot cbc you can also provide some other modes like cfb cts ecb and so all the description you could be able to see here and whatever kind of shiffer mode you want to select just select according to yourself okay i am just selecting cbc mode okay and then write des object which we have also declared above dot padding this is a padding for your text is equal to padding mode dot pkcs7 which is a standard padding mode for your encryption then write system dot io dot memory stream and give it a variable name ms is equal to new system dot io dot memory stream bracket and bracket closed and in this next line we will declare crypto stream is cs is equal to new crypto stream and in the bracket write ms which is this variable comma des object which we have declared above above dot create encryptor bracket bracket closed comma crypto stream mode dot write okay and then in the next line just copy this variable paste it here dot write and in the bracket write plain bytes which is this variable and which we have also declared above comma zero comma plain bytes dot length bracket and bracket closed and then we will just close this crypto stream variable and in here we will pass our stream memory stream into this byte array so this also we have declared above shift of bytes is equal to ms dot to array bracket and bracket closed and then write ms dot close so we are also closing our memory stream and then we are just passing our shiffer byte which is this variable into our text box for encrypted text box so write encrypt text box encrypted text this is the name of the text box this one second text box and then dot text is equal to encoding dot ascii dot get string and just pass this variable here so this all is the code for encryption so if you want you can just copy the code and when you're done with this we are going to check our code so run the code and i will write it here hello world and i press encryption so you see it has converted our normal string into a encrypted string which cannot be read read it by some unauthorized person so that's it about encryption and the this decryption code i will show you in the next video so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe bye for now